Okay. I wanted to do this real quick. I'll probably come back and do this another day longer and more in depth. But I wanted to take the time today to talk about Donna Andrews' Meg Langslow series. Like I said in my previous video, I am a series person. I cannot read a standalone book. I need an existing series. Hopefully with 10, 20 books already established. So to come in and do a really good binge read, maybe over a month or two, depending on if I do it audio. Sometimes the audiobook will take a day or two. If I read it, it only takes a couple hours. But um, so today I would like to talk about Donna Andrews, Meg Langslow series. All the books have birds in the title. The first one is Murder with Peacocks. The second one is Murder with Puffins. The third one is Revenge of the Wrought Iron Flamingos. Crouching Buzzards, Leaping Loon, Will Always Have Parrots, All's Well That Ends Well. All the titles of the books have birds in them. And the beginning of the series, you meet Meg's, Meg Langlo, who is has been... Her family has persuaded her to be their wedding planner, and this is how you meet her and um, her parents and Michael and Rose Noir and her brother, um, etc. The books are kind of slow to start. Um, it the first couple of books were like iffy for me, but once um. I got into book five and six, and the series got a little more established, um, and they moved into Carfilly, which I pretend is a real place, um, but supposedly is there around about Yorktown, Virginia, and um, the series really takes off when they get to Carfilly, and they add additional mainstay characters. Um, and Meg and uh, a little spoiler here, her husband and the grandparents and the neighbors and Sheriff Burke and Rose Noir and Vern and Ada and all the all the other characters that become mainstay characters in every every single book. Um, the it really takes off and Meg and her book that tells her when to breathe is cute. Um. So I just wanted to take it out. She's, she's a blacksmith, and sometimes her being a blacksmith is a main focal point of the book, especially for the early books. It's a main theme um, through quite a few of them. Um, but then later on, it takes a little bit more of a back step, and her sleuthing becomes more and more. And um, a couple of the later books, are so family driven that the actual crime doesn't take place to almost the end of the book. But you really don't care because by that point in the series, you've gotten to know all the characters and it's nice to find out what's going on with all the different characters' lives and stuff like that. Yay! Some of you, some people were like a really heavily plot driven. They would like the thing to take place on the first page and then figuring it out the whole way towards the end. But every once in a while, one of these books are just, she spends a lot of time just catching up with the family and um, especially the Christmas. I love the Christmas books. Um, I would love her mother to come decorate my house, but we won't go there. So, um, so anyway, the latest, one of the second to last ones is Round up the usual peacocks. I just thought I would show you this one. Um, but there are over 30 of them, and they are a really good series. I highly recommend them. Um, getting to know Meg and her family and the extended family and the animals. It's a really good series, and I highly recommend it. And... Um, I will probably come back if I do a reread later in the year. I might come back and do another couple of individual book roundups. Um, but 
but my favorite ones are the ones that take place during the Christmas season. Um, for and they're also all PG. There's no stuff in them. Um, I also recommend the Goodreads site and the Cozy Mystery site. And um, like I said, um, um, my eyesight's going, so large print is good for me. So just the Meg Langzo, Donna Andrews. They're really good series. Most of the titles have birds in them in some way. And they're cute. They're cute. They're good stories. They keep you involved. You get to know the characters. They become family. And I like that. 